In our first video, we talked to Don Youngpeter, Program Chair of the Computer Programming and Database Management Program. We talked about his program, some of the unique features of that program, and then we also got into a couple of the core technical areas required for graduates from computer software development, um, those being internet programming and database management. In our second interview, we're going to talk to Steve Yelton, Program Chair of Software Engineering Technology, learn a little bit about his program, and also Steve's going to talk to us a little bit about some of the uh, other areas required for graduation, uh, uh, the science, the mathematics, uh, the technology courses, project courses, and a little bit about the common first term. So, Steve, let's get started. Uh, we have three majors in computer software development. We talked to Don about computer programming and database management, and Don uh, seems to feel his niche is for programming that's delivered via the Internet. Uh, that interfaces with databases. And we see a lot of courses in his major in internet programming and in, in database management. Your program, Software Engineering Technology, what do you think is unique about it? What do students get from your program? The, the Software Engineering Technology program is a unique program in that it combines engineering technology along with the information technology and software development. The software engineering technology student is going to be a student who has a background in software as well as engineering technology, specifically electronics and the interfacing of computer software with the, um, the process that they may be controlling. Our, our students would write software that would go from the gamut of maybe controlling a machine or a process to even a video game that required interaction from the players. Uh, I think a good example of the type of project that one of the software engineering technology students is a project that our student actually just completed in that they interfaced a computer program with a medical device that was connected to a network. These medical devices needed to be monitored. We had to make sure that the software on the devices was up to date and the, the student actually wrote a software program that communicated with the medical device, got the information from the device, checked to make sure that the hard drive was working properly, that, that the software was up to date. It, it actually used a .NET and VB.NET format along with AJAX to, to perform this operation. That to me was a really good example of what a typical software engineering technology student may do. The integration of programming with the engineering technologies and in this case the biomedical system also. I noticed looking at the program um, curriculum that you have three high level language tracks as the other programs have one or two. Is there a particular reason for that? Right, again, our graduates could potentially program in Visual Basic or the .NET arena. They, could, they can do more engineering languages such as the C programming. Uh, they also do internet programming. They do the interface of all of this together. In fact, the project I just discussed was in a .NET platform using AJAX uh, along with that for the internet interface. So our, we find that our students could could really be programming in many different areas. They aren't just in a particular niche. They're, they're in with the engineering approach. It really depends on the project. So we give them a really wide background in software. Okay, makes sense to me. Uh, in the last week uh, of this class, we went over the uh, graduation requirements for all the majors. And we broke them down into general studies and support courses and co-op. Uh, we looked at some of the technical core areas. We looked at all the technical core areas. Uh, the math and the science and the technology courses and, and it was obvious that the software engineering technology students take a lot more mathematics. So can you tell us a little bit about those courses and why they're in there and wh what's covered in those courses? Sure. The software engineering technology program is also more of a pre-computer science or pre-engineering type of program. It provides a mechanism for the students to get a full-time job upon graduation, but it also provides them with a very smooth pathway to move into a bachelor's degree in computer science or computer engineering. In order to accommodate that, the, they require a higher level math competency. So the computer, 
science student at the bachelor's degree level is going to be taking calculus, going to be taking algebra and trigonometry, the same as our software engineering technology. If you look at that math sequence, we start with algebra and trigonometry and we move through calculus. That provides the student with the ability to move right into a bachelor's degree program. That a little bit different than the other programs that are more business oriented in, in that they don't really require that level of math. Right. 